A gloom has settled over our precious country, a pall of discouragement. With the economic woes and the moral erosion evident within our nation's fabric, many Christians seem to have jumped aboard the woe-is-me ship and are setting sail for the miserable island of self-pity. But I say, fellow Christians, this is our time to shine. In a time of crisis, we as Christians are supposed to rise up as the compassionate strength for those that are weaker and without hope all around us. As Paul the Apostle so eloquently stated in the book of Ephesians, our God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Our God is big, he's powerful, he's majestic, and he's capable of making our feet to stand even when the entire world around us is crumbling. So here's some food for thought that's sure to bring a smile to every believing soul. And by the way, this isn't my opinion. This is simply what God says in his word. Jesus, our rescuer, our ever-present help in time of need, is the mighty God, the everlasting God, the God of the whole earth, and his throne is forever and ever. He is the Almighty which is and which was and which is to come, the creator of all things, the upholder of all things, the father of eternity, the beginning and the ending, the alpha and the omega, the first and the last, the rock of ages, the head of all principality and power, Lord of lords, Lord both of the dead and living, Lord of all, Lord over all. He is the prince of princes, the prince of the kings of the earth, he that filleth all in all, the king of kings, the righteous judge, the king of saints, king of nations, king over all the earth the King of glory, crowned with many crowns, and he sitteth king forever. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever he had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, he was God. When the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against him, he shall laugh and shall hold them in derision. And in the not-so-distant future, our God will return to bring terrible judgment to the nations, and his feet shall touch down on Mount Olivet and see it divide asunder. And every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. And all will behold the Ancient of Days, whose eyes are as a flame of fire, whose voice is as the sound of many waters, and whose countenance is as the sun shining in all its strength. They will see the fiery stream issuing forth from before him, the thousand thousands ministering unto him, and the ten thousand times ten thousands that stand before him at the judgment. And all will behold the one at whose feet all crowns will be cast, for he is worthy to receive glory and honor and power. So in concert with the noble King David, I pronounce, Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. There is no gloom allowed when in the presence of such a wonderful God. For Moody Radio, I'm Eric Ludy. Please visit me at ericludy.com.